Welcome back to our combined morning show here live in Artesia. Mike Winters here. Gene Dow also here. So we got mornings with Mike Winters. We got Good Morning Artesia. We're all here doing uh, one show, two different stations. We got it all going on for the um, the uh, actual Tunnel to Towers 9-11 mobile exhibit. Actually, popping in here. Just They're just coming by. Just be here. Now, they're busy working. Uh, but uh, Andrea and Liz from the Roswell Chamber hey, with us this morning. Hey, thanks for having us. Good morning, morning guys. How Absolutely. You I know you guys uh, had a busy day yesterday uh, getting the send-off for this uh, exhibit to Artesia. We had a good crowd line up Roswell and say... Thanks for coming. We'll see you in Artesia. Absolutely. And then uh, the folks from Artesia had a big uh, welcome, welcome to it. They had, uh, I believe they had like uh, photos of the firefighters. Uh, there was like 300 and some of them kind of lying in and all this. So they had a really cool reception. And uh, it's been sitting here since yesterday afternoon. That's what I heard is that they gave out a little over 300 pictures yeah. of the firefighters. And they wanted to give out every single one of the pictures because it was going to be all or nothing. But they had more than enough people sign up yeah. and show up to get those pictures. So that's awesome. I am just thrilled with both Roswell and Artesia on how the outpouring of support and everybody being there to welcome them through Roswell and ultimately here at their destination and I know opening ceremonies is getting ready to start here in a few minutes and 9 a.m. we are so excited I can hardly wait to go through the exhibit because just walking past and seeing them set up I am Oh my gosh, the the memories of that day. Um, you know, if anybody was alive at that point, that mm -hmm. was I'm going to say older than about five. Yeah. Um, I kind of feel like my mom when you ask her about the Kennedy assassination. <laughs> That's kind of she your, can yeah. yeah she can pinpoint the exact time and location where she was at when she found out and that's our generation mm -hmm. with 911 is that we you know we can all tell our stories what was going on that day where and you're so at yeah now exactly. to fast forward all of these years later to see how we are commemorating and remembering because that you know we if we forget we'll be forced to repeat that history all over again and that's not a day I want to relive absolutely and uh, and and it's and but I, I I mean we look at this and we remember all that we've lost, but but it also is a tribute to the you know we talk about the firefighters and yep. the EMS and police and all those front uh, first responders, uh, you know that they they the most horrible things imaginable happen that day, and those guys are going the opposite direction compared to the the folks that are running from it, and so the men and women that were putting on the uniform that day. Um, that's uh, if nothing else i think you should come out here just to honor them because oh, absolutely. that that's that and that in itself is a reason enough to come out here and see it so yeah oh absolutely first the, responders all the way and good news is it's free uh, this yes. it doesn't cost you anything they're going to have the opening ceremony here in a, here in just a few minutes at 9 a.m uh if you're nearby come on by and then at 10 o'clock today uh, they're going to open this to the public from 10 to 4, and it will be open uh, every day through Monday between 10 and 4 here at the uh, Bulldog Bowl parking lot here in Artesia. Um, come on down anytime between 10 and 4. Uh, it is completely free. Uh, this is put on by Tunnel to, uh, the Tunnel to Towers Foundation. Correct. Uh, if anybody that's spent any time listening to Rush Limbaugh would know, be very familiar with this organization, uh, they uh, help first responders. If, 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 if one of these first responders loses their life, uh, in 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 uh, doing in duty here, they sometimes they go into the family, help uh, pay their mortgages off on their houses, things like that, helping uh, the families of uh, the lost uh, first responder or helping other first responders wounded, helping them with that stuff. It's it's a great organization. So this is a free event, but if you'd like to make a donation while you're here to Tunnel for Towers, they've got boxes being set up. Please, uh, it's a great great way to help out. If Especially if you come here and really appreciate and walk this, you know, throw them a few dollars so they can help some some first responders. You know, Absolutely. that'd be a good thing. So, um, so what's your plans for the day? Well, uh, obviously, we're going to come here and be supportive with the opening ceremonies, and then this afternoon at three o'clock, we have a grand opening ribbon cutting at Tate Branch Roswell. Okay. 
So that so is all where the folks we here be. in Artesia to go to Tate. When you're next time you're in, in Rosal, you can swing on by and via via their pre pre owned vehicles and things Absolutely. like that. Absolutely, sure. it's and that's on a, West Second, um, right across the street from Roswell Hyundai. All right, right in the dealer row there. Absolutely. Excellent. So come on down. They'll be doing a ribbon cutting for that for folks that are uh, in Artesia or in Roswell that want to yep. to be a part of all of that. Uh, of course, I know uh, I know a little bit about for folks here. I know a little bit about the the Roswell Chamber. Of course, if you have any uh, needs, questions, ask if you want to be a chamber member in uh, in Roswell um, you know counties I mean business it's all connections here Absolutely. Um, and either one of these ladies will be able to help you out just call the call the chamber uh, the Roswell Chamber get onto the chamber's website yep. and 575-623-5695 uh, we're members of the Artesia Chamber the Artesia Chamber is a member of the Roswell Chamber we work really well together because there is a lot of overlapping businesses and community uh, between Roswell and Artesia. So if you do any kind of commerce at all in Roswell, it is really in your best interest to become a member because there are so many benefits that we offer you as a member yeah. at either a very discounted or at no charge. Yeah. Whereas if you're not a member, you're going to be charged for sure. Because Absolutely. that's how I've got to pay the bills. I've got to be able to pay the staff. So become a member and Absolutely. we will, Liz is actually our membership director and she would be more than happy to sit down with you and explain and discuss our packages. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, and by the way, um, the Roswell Chamber had their first uh, magazine edition issued here yes. in the end of yes. first quarter. Episode two will be coming out here at the end of the month. Yes. If uh, you... Uh, if you live in Chavez County, you're going to get one shown up in your mailbox. But if you live outside of Chavez County and would like one delivered to your mailbox, please call the chamber. Yes, And I'll be happy to get you one or get you on the mailbox. there's mail a list. lot of information that is, um, you know, we obviously being Roswell Chamber of Commerce, we try to showcase and spotlight uh, Roswell and Chavez County. But with that said, it's really all of southeastern New Mexico. So call us, give us your address, we'll get you on the mailing list. Because I promise you're going to know the people and places that are highlighted in our magazines and all of the issues going forward. Yep, it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a really great resource. Uh, I'm telling you, just grab it, put it. Uh, if you ha do not have a magazine rack in your bathroom anymore, Get bring one. back Get the one. magazine rack. <laughs> stick it right there. Keep one right there. Every article, it's kind of like the Uncle John's bathroom ears. There's some short ones for just a quick minute or two. Uh, but if you got some sitting time, you got some longer articles to read there. <laughs> and so. we do still have advertising opportunities. So if it's something you might be interested in, call us and we can get you hooked up on that as well. Yeah, yes. Absolutely. And we've had great responses from the people that have advertised in the magazine that they have seen a huge uptick in commerce because of the magazine because you know most businesses will ask that question how did you hear from us and they're starting to hear more and more well roswell now magazine i saw your ad i didn't even know you existed until i saw this yeah so call us yeah. absolutely call uh call or get on uh follow on facebook uh facebook and instagram i believe are the two yes. uh mostly used uh social medias by the chamber here so and of course uh if you've got any questions or hesitate to call um anything if, if you're looking for just to, hey i'm looking to make connections with nonprofits in town yep. or whatever chamber is that place to make those connections absolutely so, yeah well very good well ladies we'll probably uh, get you get your good spots there for the ceremony it's about to get away yes. in a few and and uh come on out uh, to here today anytime 10 to 4 and then, of course uh, if you're going to be in uh in uh Rosal around lunchtime there. Come on down to the, the, the grand opening of the Tate Branch uh, used car center there. Yep. So. We will be there. Excellent. Well, thank you, ladies. Well, How are we doing? For uh, us. What do we need to go to news next, or what are we doing now? So, should we maybe linger around and wait a few and see if they're uh, going to commence the ceremony? I don't know. He's yeah, I on keep it. looking behind me and I just know. look at this crowd. This is it's awesome. Just growing. Yeah, we got a good crowd here. The tent looks like it's uh, filled up here. And now they've got now they've got the whole uh, trailer unveiled. Like yes, it popped out and everything, so you can kind of see inside there. And I suggest there. coming before noon. Yes. Versus after because uh, it's going to be a scorcher today. So come when it's not as hot. Yeah. yeah. And, and bring sunscreen. Yes. I recommend sunscreen. But uh, ten to four uh, today. And lots of water. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday it will be here, and then it makes its way on to its next home uh, after Monday here. Yeah. But uh, did, yeah. did they? Do you happen to know where where they're taking Cal the next? I, 
California, Arizona, somewhere, California. somewhere west. Okay. Yep. So California, probably a lot closer to and come then here. All the way back to New York. What do we? So. Okay. All right. We're gonna uh, we're gonna get, take you here to uh, to town hall news here in just a second. We may cut in. Just be warned uh, if the ceremony gets underway here. We don't. We want to make sure we get that to you in its entirety. But uh, you're listening to 106.5 Roswell's Talk FM, KEND, Roswell, New Mexico, and 990 AM and 93.7 KSVP, Artesia, New Mexico. We'll be back on the other side of news.